what is going on different video this time this is a re-edit of the first video i've ever put on youtube i put it up as two parts originally because back then i couldn't do longer than 15 minute videos so i was always doing long videos this is from the lake woodruff national wildlife refuge it was recorded in january 2010 i released it in october of 2010 and i just want to sit down and re-edit it like i would today this is the way I would have edited this video if I would have shot this now. Of course, the video quality is very low. I just gotten my Flip Video Ultra HD, and over the years I have lost the HD versions of the files. I still have the standard def, so that's what I've got. There's The audio is kind of crappy, and um, there's absolutely zero stabilization on this. Not to mention the fact I really had no idea what I was doing. It was the first time I'd done it. So, hope you guys enjoy it. We're going to get right into the video. This is Lake Woodruff National Wildlife Refuge. Okay, so I think I'm going to start carrying a little video camera around with me when I do my hikes and things like that. So this is the first uh, time to uh, Lake Woodruff this year. And uh, this is us entering Lake Woodruff well, National Wildlife Refuge. There's a sign. And uh, it's way down off the road here. You just keep on going. Administrative office. This is a little road called Mud Lake Road, uh, out in a section of the land. It's actually right between the land and the Leon Springs, called Glenwood. And uh, it looks like this road just ends completely. Weird little intersection here. It turns into a nice little dirt road. And I don't know if you can see that moving down there, but that is the freight train that comes flying through here and as we get up to that gate you will notice or up to that track you'll notice there is no gate if you're not paying attention that train comes through you are getting smushed it's actually the first time I've ever actually seen it come through as I was coming down this road so that's very cool just a nice stop sign And then there goes the caboose. So generally, you're just supposed to pull up to this and do one of these and hope that train that you see is going the other way. Once you cross these tracks, you are officially in Lake Woodruff National Wildlife Refuge. <laughs> Enjoy your visit. Let's see if there's anybody back here. Oh, no way back here at all. Well, <clears throat> it is starting to uh, rain a little bit. And uh, even though this is Florida, they're saying this may turn into snow flurries. So uh, I don't know how much I'll get to record here. Not real, real big on the idea of getting the camera soaking wet here on the first trip out. Now all this water here is all man-made uh, compound uh, lakes that they, uh, they build, uh, flood, and drain um, to uh, make areas of uh, different uh, stages of flooding. And just as we came in here, We've got a great blue heron walking right in front of us here.
I'm literally about eight feet away from this bird. This is fairly rare. They usually don't. Herons won't usually stand here like this. The sandhill cranes will. The herons usually will not. You like getting your video taken, huh? And you can stay there and I'll keep going. I wish this had a little more zoom to it. Because there's a lot of small birds, uh, more hens and uh, ducks and such that are out here in the weeds that you can't really see. Now that is a cold bird right there. I don't know if you can see how that'll, that'll come out. Right there. Absolutely not happy with the weather. Now that is an Aninga. The Cormorant has more of a, a duck-like head, but they are very closely related. Second heron. So he's got a little comb over and it's blowing out there. Okay, so now we're coming up on a, a big, big, big group of, of vultures here. Uh, here we go. Now they're going to start running. Some of them just run immediately. Some of them will stand there. They're just getting into bigger groups. And these two are just going to move off this side and try to figure out what I'm doing. You're like, I wouldn't do anything wrong. Why are you bothering me? They start to land directly behind you as soon as you pass them.
here's a cormorant. They're fishing right here. Just caught a fish. I don't know if he's going to be able to be seen in his branches. He's right here. Now this is where the vultures like to roost and you'll come in here some days and they will just be hundreds upon hundreds of them sitting in the trees like these guys are doing right here but just all throughout these trees you also see them uh, out there on top of the tower Okay, I had to actually go ahead and put my gloves on because uh, oh, I'm getting patchy spots here where it's just super cold. This cold front is pushing through earlier, I think. Uh, it's going to be fun uh, out on the water there. Uh, don't know how well this is going to pick it up, but out there on the lake, it's actually starting to mist over there from the... Uh, the air temperature dropping so fast. There's another heron right there. Herons are loving this weather. And way out uh, over by the lake, maybe on the other side, I'm hearing some sandhill cranes, so we might get a chance to see some of them. We got a lot of mist on. Okay, so here we are at the Audubon Lookout. And uh, this is the crossroads between the uh, all the trails here. Um, these two both head back to the same spot where we first came in. Uh, and then uh, this one here heads uh, all the way back to what's called Pontoon Landing, which is right on the, uh, the uh, Spring Garden Run, which goes from Deleon Springs out to Lake Woodruff. Uh, and then this trail here heads out, uh, cuts over this way towards uh, Pontoon Landing. And there's also an offshoot that goes back this way, uh, which heads back around out to the front gate. And uh, you know you're in a, a uh, unwatched, uh, unsupervised area when you're out in the middle of the refuge and you see that sign. Pretty much you're on your own. And by the time anybody gets here, these guys will take care of you if you get hurt. Uh, so there's uh, the pumping machine. Uh, uh, underneath here are uh, all the, the gates and everything. And you can see some of the, the mechanisms here where they open up to flood the different compounds. And see if we can just stop dropping this in the water. Nothing fancy, but usually uh, uh, when these are open, it's like a, a river. Like I said, these uh, the vultures tend to use this more than people do. But we'll go on up here and they'll they'll take off. They won't stick around while I'm coming up the steps. This is uh, 
that over there is uh, Spring Garden Lake. Uh, just goes all the way out. You could literally almost walk across that. It goes all the way out and down that way. Now where it disappears down there in the corner is Spring Garden State Park, or uh, Deleon Springs State Park. Uh, then wraps out around that way. Pontoon Landing is out there. Then out over there is Lake Woodruff and eventually uh, St. John's River. But usually you can see much further. Uh, it's just uh, foggy, a little overcast, cold, windy. lunch. I saw him over here. He's probably back here behind these trees. I bet he comes back. There he goes. So okay, so now we're leaving the impound area or compound area. Uh, going back towards what they call Jones Island uh, and this is just a lot of Spanish moss and uh, what they call hammocks a um, uh, mix of uh, palm tree and pine tree very shady uh, areas uh, and it's kind of weird to see his little pine trees along with the palmettos and the palms up in this tree here. I don't see him up there today, but there is an osprey nest up there. Uh, I do not see him up there. Hey, you'll get times where this is so wet you can't even walk through here. Uh, I've had to turn around and head back because it's, you just sink, lose your shoe in the mud. Okay, so here we are just about the uh, the last little split here in the trail before you get to pontoon landing and this is a good example of uh, a natural sinkhole uh, that's been here a very long time filled up and has become a little pond but uh, I mean you can see trees growing right up to the edge of it and there was probably trees in here uh, not the biggest one I've ever come across but uh probably one of the oldest ones I've ever seen that uh, seems to have stabilized it seems like it just collapsed and filled up with water and stayed as is uh, there are some instances over in uh, Deltona and uh, uh, out near Osteen uh, about 20 miles from here things like this have opened up and just swallowed up houses um, gotta be real careful of those in Florida okay so luckily the weather held out long enough uh, we are now back at Pontoon Landing. Uh, this is about uh, anywhere between three to three and a half miles from where we parked the car. And a, a very cool little spot. Um, this water right here, I'm going to be a little quieter and sneak down to the edge here. See, can I see some birds out here? See what we have. But uh, this is Spring Garden Ranch Run or Spring Garden Run. Uh, if you go that direction it takes you back down to the Leon Springs State Park and this direction takes you out to Lake Woodruff and then eventually St. John's River there's a blue heron I don't know if 
I'll get them flying later. But this is uh, uh, the furthest back you can go in Hantun Island. Uh, or, or not Hantun. Uh, that's the other park. This is Lake Woodruff. Uh, Lake Woodruff Wildlife Reserve. This is the furthest back you can go. Um, unless you want to swim. And there goes the heron. There's two of them. But you can see in the ground here are a lot of snail shells. And there's <coughs> a lot of the ground here is covered in these snail shells. There's one there. And they, uh, a lot of areas you go to, the, uh, the, the Indians that uh, lived here originally uh, used the snails as their main source of food and they would just harvest them and then dump them in mounds and there's some spots that they're 30 40 feet high and you know so so long that you can't even really measure how long they are just by looking at them just snail shells and um, one of those is over in uh, Hantun Island State Park which is not that far from here. It's uh, down the river quite a ways, but uh, in a straight line, it's not that far. But most of this ground is made up of snail shells. I'm starting to be able to see my breath again. Uh, temperature's going to start dropping. And uh, it's going to probably start raining pretty soon. So, I'm going to start heading back before I get soaked. There's a great white egret sitting right there. And you, can, you know it's cold when they're just got their heads up under their wings and ignoring everything going on around them. That's the direction it just came from. And uh, there's definitely some weather moving in from that direction. So it looks like uh, time this out pretty good. Okay. So I'm watching what may be a hawk up here in this perch. Uh, I don't know. You can see the perch, but I don't know if we can see what's up there. Because I'm seeing a lot of uh, remnants of moor hens and loons and uh, other small waterfowl out here just laying in the, in the brush. Um, <clears throat> which means that something is definitely grabbing them and eating them. Let's see. You can barely make them out sitting up there. get to him. There he goes. Now, we've been doing work on this road, so we'll see how far down here we can get. This would probably be a good sign to have at the other end of the trail.
You can see him moving around. It's like the uh, big creature from the Black Lagoon's gonna pop up from out of here. There he's over there. Now this is uh, kind of rare to see this here because we are that close to the exit and usually this is where the most people are. Um, but because of the weather, I've only seen three other people out here uh, the whole time I've been here. So uh, since it's fairly quiet up front, you'll get a lot more things like this that we usually wouldn't come out until later on. And there he's got, he's got a fish. It's not that my camera with me. Okay. All right. Well, as the out of there eats, we'll let him go. I don't want to disturb him too much. Um, let him have his his food. Uh, try not to upset the egret either. Go over here a little further. Because they do tend to get a little jumpy. Uh, more so than a heron for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so, um, now, I guess, is the, officially the end of the tour of uh, Lake Woodruff. Um, so I wasn't expecting to come across an otter. Hope you enjoyed it.